how are you adapting to the new SEO landscape? On May 14th of 2024, Google in a three and a half hour live event rolled out their entire AI assisted suite of products and services, including their AI generative SEO, which they had been beta testing uh, for over a year prior to that. And so today I wanna to talk through adapting to the new SEO landscape for home remodeling businesses with Google's generative AI search rollout. This is gonna be a real game changer in search engine optimization and search visibility. And so uh, this is gonna be something that you're gonna need to be aware of, something you're going to want to begin to think through adapting your strategy to. You see, Google's recent rollout of generative AI search capabilities marks a significant shift in the SEO landscape. It's particularly gonna be impactful on local home remodeling businesses that rely on the visibility of local search results to attract customers. And so we wanna look at how this new AI-driven search algorithm affects local SEO strategies, and then also give you some action tips uh, to help you adapt and thrive now, uh, with what's going on in the market right now. So first of all, let's give you a quick overview so you have a better understanding of what this really is. So Google's generative AI search is designed to enhance the user's experience by delivering more accurate and comprehensive search results. Um, it uses advanced AI models like Google Gemini to understand in response to complex questions or search queries more effectively. In fact, the way Google puts it is, let Google do the searching for you. Um, the AI is gonna generate detailed answers by really collaborating and combining information from multiple sources and then giving you really the best response based on that. And so that's the concept behind it. So the purpose behind this is to improve the accuracy and the usefulness of search results. So instead of giving you just a group of links that you can go down and look at for yourself, by using the AI, it's reducing the time spent in the whole search process, piecing together that information, and then drawing together a final answer, if you will, uh, to help the user get to their solution quicker. The whole point being that hopefully the user will find uh, better satisfaction and engagement because of that process. Now, what that means is for you as a business, high quality, well-optimized content is more critical than it's ever been. Now, here's some of the key changes in SEO due to generative AI content coming about. So content generation and optimization is, is gonna be a key piece of this. So with generative AI, search engines are better at understanding natural language and language patterns. Uh, they're better at understanding the context of a language. And so businesses have to focus on creating high quality AI optimized content that addresses the user's query in a very comprehensive manner. And so this involves using natural language and answering potential follow-up questions, providing in-depth insights and key takeaways as part of that process. Ultimately, the user has to have a great experience. And so Google's AI prioritizes the user engagement and satisfaction by understanding the user's intent more accurately. And so websites that offer seamless and engaging user experiences are simply gonna rank higher. And so key factors are gonna include your page load speed, mobile responsiveness, and 
is your navigation intuitive? Can a person easily figure out how to get to the information they're looking for and how to get from one place to the next? Um, local SEO enhancements that you need to look at. AI capabilities are going to improve local search results by providing more detailed and contextually relevant information about the local business itself. So this is going to include enhanced local business listings, user reviews, and then localized, and I call it hyper-local content that matches the user's intent more precisely, um, not so generalized. So here's some of the implications for you as a home remodeling company. Uh, number one, there's going to be increased competition. So the AI-driven search landscape really levels the playing field. It makes it easier for smaller businesses to compete with larger companies. However, it also means that businesses need to differentiate themselves if they're going to stand out from the competition. So strategies that are going to be very important include focusing on your unique selling points, showcasing your expertise, and maintaining a strong online presence. One of the things that I want to, to put in front of you is this concept of being a topical authority. So when you think about your content, are you a topical authority on that piece of content? Meaning, are you an authority on the topic of you know, kitchen remodeling, more specifically on backsplashes, on countertops, on kitchen cabinets? You know, be thinking in, in those hyper-focused topics. How can you become the content topical authority in those topics? You need to be thinking about keyword strategies because these are evolving as well. So traditional keyword strategies are now evolving to accommodate conversational long tail keywords that are more natural in their flow. So businesses need to focus on understanding and incorporating phrases and questions that potential customers would typically use into their content creation. Um, tools like Google's Keyword Planner and then AI-driven SEO tools can help you identify those types of keywords. Um, you're going to have to be thinking about adjusting your content marketing. So content marketing is going to need to adapt to various formats um, such as blogs, videos, infographics, social media posts, and then personalizing that content. So personalized content is content that addresses specific customer needs and then pain points. And by doing so, you're going to be much more effective. Um, it's becoming much more focused on the unique needs of the individual consumer. And then you also want to regularly update and repurpose your content to keep that content fresh. Now, some practical steps you can also be taking. Audit and update your website. Go through and conduct a comprehensive SEO audit. Identify areas that need improvement. Update your website to ensure that it aligns with the latest SEO best practices, such as fast loading times, mobile optimization, secure browsing, and then ensure that your content is well-structured, informative, and optimized not just for keywords, but also for the intent of the user. And that's critical. What is the user intending? Um, you want to optimize for local search. So ensure that your business information is accurate, um, not just on your website, but you also want to make sure across all directories, all online listings, um, utilize tools like your Google My Business, uh, your Google Business Profile is what's now called to manage your online presence and engage for customer reviews. And then local citations from reputable directories are also going to enhance that local SEO. And you want to be thinking in terms of hyper-local. What are things that are neighborhood related? 
local events, charitable events, things that are specific to your region that you may want to highlight in your local SEO efforts. Be sure and provide a great user experience with good site speed, mobile responsiveness, uh, intuitive navigation, and then engaging visuals, clear calls to action, and then keep your content easy to read so that people stay on your site longer. And then take advantage of the AI tools and technologies that are out there. Um, there are AI-driven SEO tools to help you optimize your website and content. Um, these tools can provide insights into keyword performance, gaps in your content, uh, optimization opportunities. Uh, there are a lot of good AI SEO tools out there uh, that are available. And then, of course, if you're working with an agency like ours, uh, we have a lot of those tools that we use in-house. Um, content creation and automation. Now, leverage AI for your content creation and automation, but I want to give a warning here. Don't just go to ChatGPT and tell it to write an article. If you don't take time to train properly the AI content engine, it's going to produce garbage. Um, and people will quickly smell that it is AI produced garbage. You want your AI produced content to reflect your voice, your personality, your business, your values. You're going to have to take time to train that AI engine uh, so that it is putting out content that reflects you. But AI can help you generate topics, outlines, first drafts. It can do editorial revisions. It will help you work more efficiently. It can help you create a, a full social media calendar based on your content strategy. So there's a lot of good things that you can do there as well. Here's a couple of things to consider, some challenges and also some, uh, some pitfalls. Number one, over-reliance on automation you still need to have human oversight. Don't get lazy, don't get sloppy. Um, number two, you wanna keep up with the rapid changes. Especially with this AI-driven environment on Google, everything is changing rapidly. Google's announcing almost weekly. Uh, they're rolling out something and then they're taking it back. Rolling out something, taking it back. Um, so we wanna make sure we stay on top of that. Um, you also wanna make sure that AI is staying consistent with the user's intent. Um, so we want to make sure that the content aligns with the user's intention for being on your website. And then, of course, we want to make sure that we follow good data privacy and compliance uh, practices. And so if you're utilizing AI for personalized content and user tracking, that raises some privacy issues. Um, so make sure you're complying with GDPR and California's Privacy Act and other legal issues that might arise. You also have some ethical and privacy concerns uh, springboarding off of that. You want to balance personalization with privacy. So I tend to lean towards not using actual individual uh, case studies but using hypotheticals instead. I like to keep people's personal information out of the AI. Um, transparency and accountability. Um, so you wanna disclose AI usage. One of the things we do uh, in articles that we write, if it's AI assisted, we actually have a disclaimer statement uh, at the bottom, or it's an attribution statement actually, that says this article is written in conjunction with you know, Carl Willis and ChatGPT, um, and it tells which roles each one of us played and when that piece of content was created, just to disclose that it is an AI-assisted piece of content. I think that's going to become uh, more critical in the days ahead. Uh, there can be bias in AI depending on how you've trained that AI, so you have to be careful about that. Uh, know how the AI has been trained. That's why I like custom GPTs uh, over just using chat GPT in general, because at least you know what it's been trained with. And then of course there are security risks 
Uh, be careful what data you're giving to the AI as well. Anyway, these are a few things uh, for you to be thinking about in this AI assisted SEO world. If uh, we can help you develop your online marketing strategy, be sure and schedule a strategy session with us and look forward to talking with you again soon.